that not a way to make an entrance to where you're trying to get to? It's a beautiful car. Before I get started on the video, I want to introduce myself. My name is Paul De La Rosa. I'm one of the sales managers at Charles Clark Chevrolet located right here in McAllen, Texas. We've been around since 1933 and we look forward to serving you and your family. I just wanted to take the time to thank all of the viewers and subscribers, people that liked and commented on my last video. I honestly didn't expect for it to get the attention that it did, but I'm so grateful that it did because it's motivated me to do more videos like this to share with you, your friends, and your family. If there's anything that you feel that I could have said differently or anything that you'd like to recommend, please drop it in the comments. I would be more than happy to improve on that on my next video. Now, the all new 2023 Chevrolet Corvette 3LT convertible with the 70th anniversary edition. This vehicle was to celebrate the original 1953 Chevrolet Corvette C1. And man, I'm gonna go over all the goodies that this particular vehicle has to offer. Before we get further into the details, if you're interested in test driving this vehicle, please call me at 956-212-3296. I'll be more than happy to set up a VIP appointment just for you. Will this vehicle fit your lifestyle? Let's find out. The 70th anniversary edition Corvette will come in one of two exterior colors. You can either get the satin gray with the white pearl metallic tri-coat, just like the one we have here in the video today, or you can get the satin black with the carbon flash metallic. Optional stripes are available in complementing colors. On the 70th anniversary edition Corvette, you do get different exterior badging, including the special Corvette cross flags. It will also feature distinct wheels with commemorative wheel center caps. And while the Stingray and Z06 each have separate wheel designs, the wheels share a similar dark finish and edge red stripe with edge red brake calipers. And here we have the frunk. You have the key option to go ahead and unlock it. Opens up right there. With the 70th anniversary edition Corvette, you do get two travel bags that have the logo on here as well. Now, this is what the bag looks like full. We do have it wrapped up for the person who decides to buy this vehicle. We don't want anybody messing with it, but to give you an idea, this is full right now. Super easy for the bottom one and for the top one as well. You have a cargo net as well, and there's four hooks on the inside that you can put that down, that way nothing will jump out or anything like that or fly out. Also, very, very, very important. Because you're gonna be driving really fast and running through the gas like crazy, this is the nozzle that you need. Just in the event that you were to run out of gas, you put this nozzle into the gas tank before putting in a, a gas tank nozzle, the, the red tanks. And the reason for that is because those are rigid or, or ribbed and whenever you put that in, it's gonna get stuck whenever you pull it out. You're gonna have to come to the dealership. This allows you to bypass that. This is what the nozzle looks like. And of course, your regular gas tank. There's two locking mechanisms to prevent people from stealing your gas. So right here, if you don't put this in and you just put the nozzle in, it's gonna get locked up right here. And this allows you to bypass that. The nozzle is literally as easy as putting it in as if you were gassing up your car. Put that in right there, and then that'll allow you to go ahead and put in the fuel that you need without it getting stuck. Now, since we're talking about the gas tank, I do wanna mention the Corvette does require premium fuel, nothing less than that. On the front, you do have to close it, put a little bit of pressure, you're good. But when you get to the back, let me show you what it's about. In our trunk area, we do have our front license plate bracket, our carpet mats. And again, the reason we have these in here is because we don't want anybody to get them dirty or mess it up for the person who's gonna buy this vehicle. It is said that you could fit a set of golf clubs in here, so that way you can go to the golf course, you don't have to get another vehicle and you're able to drive in style. Now what I was telling you about the front closing, you have to put pressure. This one, on the other hand, is a soft close. So all you have to do is put a little bit of pressure and closes right there. Moving over to the interior. Right here, the first thing you're gonna see as soon as you open the door is the 70 on the door seal plate. There's two other places that you'll get that logo as well. On the steering wheel and on the headrest of the driver and passenger seat. Inside the cockpit, drivers will find two-tone ceramic leather GT2 or competition sports seats, red stitching throughout, red seat belts, and suede microfiber seat inserts 
and the steering wheel. One thing I went ahead and did, I still have the plastic on here, but I just wanted to show you guys what the seat actually looks like without the plastic cover. Again, I can't emphasize this enough, and we do want to make sure that we don't damage or stain or anything to this vehicle. As we can see here, we have the carbon fiber trim, which goes through the entire inside of the vehicle. And I'm so grateful that we were able to get this option because it was on constraint for the longest time. And man, does it look great on this vehicle. This right here is the Bose Performance Series sound system. Excellent quality sound system. And you don't have to worry about losing the quality if the top's off. Not only will you find suede in the inserts of the seat and on the steering wheel, but on the door panels, the dash, and your headliner. Let me tell you, this red stitching puts it together very well. All these buttons right here is everything related to the climate control of the vehicle, as well as your heated and ventilated seats. We have your temperature for the driver and at the very bottom, temperature for your passenger. Heated ventilated seats for the driver, heated ventilated seats for the passenger. Defrost, all of your different settings. You have your power button and then to control the intensity of the air. Everything here is always within reach. There are three buttons right here. One for your traction control, one for your front camera view, which is visible on the screen right now. Right here, we have our front camera views from our driver's side, passenger side, and a drop down of the front view, as well as a rear view, a wide angle rear view, drop down of the front, back to your 360, and if you want to turn the guidelines on or off. And the last button is going to be the front lift adjustable height memory. And it's a General Motors convenience technology that enables a vehicle to track locations where the front lift function is used and store that data for future occurrences. Currently, this technology is utilized exclusively by the mid-engine Chevrolet Corvette. Right below that are going to be where you adjust the driving modes of the Corvette. You just twist the knob to the left or to the right. You have touring mode. When I go to the right, sport, and man, it, the purr is just a little bit louder. And then of course, everybody's favorite track. If you're gonna be utilizing this vehicle on the track, I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. To engage the gear shifter, it is a little bit different. You do have to put your foot on the brake, and depending on how you have the setting saved on your vehicle, you may or may not have buckle to drive. But right here, you pull up for reverse, pull up, for drive and you push for manual mode which you're able to control with the paddle shifters these are the gear shifters to upshift with the right side and downshift with the left side what we can see right here is the heads up display you can adjust this angle to where it's convenient for the driver and that square right next to that is letting you know what the speed is what the speed limit is in your area or what street you're on the second option you have will show how many G's you're pulling if you're taking this vehicle to the track. Have that on the left and the right side with your miles per hour and your RPMs. If you're in park, reverse, neutral, or drive, and it'll take us back to our main screen. On our main screen, push the home button. You have audio, which allows for AM, FM, XM, and Bluetooth. Phone. You can connect your phone and you can also have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. For the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the best way to describe that is it's gonna be a reflection of your phone screen to the main screen. Navigation, it's not as hard as it used to be. Right here, is you can type one, two, three, Main Street. Whereas before it had you go to a whole lot of different ones, right? I wanted to go there, it's gonna let me know how many minutes it's gonna take me to get there, how many miles it is. You can also save that as your favorite if that's your office, if that's where you work, if that's your home. Wi-Fi hotspot, which is part of the OnStar services, and that's good for one month or three gigs, whichever comes first. But don't worry, you do have the option to purchase, and if you have an AT&T account, you're able to sync that with your AT&T account as well. You have the ability to set up different user profiles, if it's going to be you driving it, a significant other, a friend, family member, whoever that might be, you can create your profiles and also sign into those different profiles. All the settings pertaining to the vehicle, applications, and vehicle settings. I'm more than happy to show you how to connect your phone's Bluetooth. 
you hit on settings, go to Bluetooth, you're all set there. And on the screen, you hit phone, connect phone, and add phone. On my phone screen, my Chevrolet is coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. That's gonna allow you to connect to the phone. It's gonna ask you if the pin number that's sent to your phone is the same pin number that is on the screen. And as we can see here, they're both matching. So I'm gonna hit pair on my phone and I'm gonna hit pair on my screen. You have the option to allow your contacts and favorites to sync to the vehicle. For now, I'm gonna hit don't allow. As we can see here, my Chevrolet is already connected. The first thing you're gonna get is gonna say iPhone and its third party apps and services may use vehicle information. This is just asking if you wanna go ahead and enable Apple CarPlay or disable Apple CarPlay being that I have an iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. I'm gonna check my phone. It's gonna ask me if I wanna use CarPlay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. And now, for the people who are not comfortable with the interface that this vehicle has, most of us use our phones on a daily basis. And this right here will give you the comfort that you need while utilizing the screen to its full capabilities. This is gonna show you all of the apps that are compatible with the, with the vehicle. The navigation, phone, your music that's playing from your phone, if you need to find gas stations or parking. Phone, navigation, messages, what, whatever music is playing, your settings, calendar, audiobooks, podcasts, and of course, more apps that are compatible. When I go right here, shout out to my wife, most important person in my life, my one and only. And of course, it'll show you your recent contacts, keypad, and if you have any voicemails. Just a quick tutorial on how to connect your, your Bluetooth. Now coming over to the steering wheel, have our, our cruise control on this side. This will go ahead and, and turn it on. And then the, this icon will go ahead and appear, letting you know that the, climate, the cruise control is ready to be set. And the way you wanna set that, pull this down. And if you wanna increase speed, you go ahead and go up or go down. If you wanna turn it off, push this to the left. Do you have the option for the heated steering wheel? Down here in South Texas, we're about 20 minutes from the Mexican border. I don't know, maybe one or two times out of the year that you might use that. All of us Valley people know it's not that cold down here. You have your voice command. You're able to give the vehicle uh, to you're able to give the vehicle commands by saying change to Sirius XM channel two, Sirius XM channel three. You're able to say, can you take me to one two three Main Street? You're able to give voice commands to the vehicle, and the system will go ahead and engage that. This right here is to allow you to go through all the different settings that the vehicle has, starting with the trip computer, performance, audio, maintenance, options, and simplify. And lastly, you have two buttons, I'm sorry, two buttons on each side of the steering wheel. This is to higher and lower the volume, push them up to lower the volume, higher to higher the volume, and then to change the radio stations, to your next favorite station that you have saved to go back to your next favorite station that's saved. Now there are many functions on the key fob, one of them being to open the convertible top, but only on the inside of the vehicle can you close the convertible top. Cup holders, just to give you an idea, my iPhone does fit right in there. It doesn't go all the way down, but it can go ahead and hold it. When I lift this up, storage center console, again, this is an iPhone 12 Pro. It's not the biggest phone, but to give you an idea for space, you have the SD card for the navigation, your USB-C, USB, and auxiliary. And now that we're talking about storage, let me show you the passenger glove compartment. The button to open it is gonna be located right in between the two AC vents. I'm gonna push this right here. That's gonna go ahead and open up. Now, one of my favorite features is a rear vision camera. Right here, all you have to do to activate it is pull the peg forward and you can have that rear vision camera view. Some of the different options that you have on the rear vision camera are the brightness. And in the top left corner, you can see how bright or how dim the display can be. If I push this button over here, I can zoom in and zoom out. 
I can also adjust the angle. And then it'll take you back to your home screen. And if you wanted to turn this off, all you have to do is pull that back and you're good to go. And now, since we're at the top of the vehicle, or at least up here, right above the rearview mirror, our OnStar. OnStar is good for one month, and if you were to leave your debit card or credit card on file during the welcome call, you do get three months of service. Right next to this, this is if you have any questions about the vehicle, if you're lost, kind of works like a concierge service. And on the right hand side is the SOS. Of course, that's in the event of any emergency, and you don't have to be the one that's in an accident or an emergency. If you see something, you're able to go ahead and connect to them, and they'll connect to first responders, and they'll go ahead and stay on the line with you in the event of, of an accident. This is one button that can get very easily lost, especially because most of us are used to it being somewhere by the screen, but our hazard lights. This right here is to turn off the motion sensors inside the vehicle. And this will let you know if the passenger airbag is on or off. Of course, I am being occupied by Carlos from Story Stormmaker. Does an amazing job on all of our videos. Shout out to him. Thank you so much for being here, Carlos. And of course, right behind the mirrors, we have our lights. Most of us, I would assume, are gonna be storing this vehicle in a garage. Uh, so if you need to program a garage, a gate, a community gate, you do have that option. That'll be right here. All you have to do is push this button, hold it for a little bit. See right there, it's already flashing. All you have to do, get your clicker, go up, click on it. And once it starts flashing, that means that it's already programmed. So all you have to do is push it, push and hold for three times, for three seconds, let it go. Push and hold for three seconds, let it go. Push and, push and hold for three seconds, let it go. And by that time, your garage or gate should open or close. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My phone number's in there. I'll drop my information in the bio. 2023 marks the 70th anniversary of the Corvette, the longest running nameplate of any car on the road today. Shout out to my Seattle people. Rocking the Space Needle today for the socks I got when I was visiting, always wearing the crazy socks. I just wanted to save the best for last. A lot of people are asking the power, the engine, what is it? It's a 6.2 liter V8 LT2 engine. The vehicle produces 490 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque and can go zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds if equipped with a Z51 performance package and has a top speed of 184 miles an hour. If there's anything, any questions that you might have, drop it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And lastly, call me if you're interested in a test drive. I want to set up a VIP appointment. I'll have this vehicle set to the side. I'll go ahead and coordinate everything with you. Let me know what I can do to accommodate you and your family. Again, if you're in the market for a new vehicle or a pre-owned vehicle, do not forget to purchase with Paul. As always, if you can please like the video, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading more videos like this and I'll also be doing some short videos as well. And last question I have for you. So does this vehicle fit your lifestyle? Let me know in the comments.